And welcome to your gold market event charts of the day. It's Friday, the 22nd of September. Mike Smith, seen analyst of gold markets here to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Very tumultuous couple of days on markets overall. We saw US markets drop significantly again. In fact, it was the worst one day drop since March for the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. All major indices on course for a losing week. And the reasons are quite simply a little bit of a follow through from the Fed's hawkish narrative uh, subsequent to their interest rate decision and the fact that the US government are fighting again about funding uh, with the prospect of not having any money left to pay uh, government services. US futures are neutral in early Asian trading but are starting to pick up as the day progresses. Asian markets doing likewise generally following that week US lead North started the day looking pretty miserable. But the ASX is a prime example of what's happening. It was in excess of a percent down shortly after open, but now is half those losses, uh, which is significant. I see particularly interesting buying in lithium stocks, but generally speaking across the board, uh, a lot better than it did look initially. Despite that, European futures are still pointed to a slightly lower open, but again, slightly better than was anticipated in the VIX. is down in Asian trading, but continued to climb. We look at a daily chart from the support we hit earlier in the week. US dollar index hit six months highs a couple of days ago, but failed to hold that yesterday. The finish near neutral. It is up today so far. Uh, gold dropped again, but it's comfortably holding the 200 EMA and it's slightly higher in Asia. Interestingly, copper is also higher, as is oil today. Uh, copper did close at monthly lows yesterday, which was of note. Bitcoin is holding sort of around about that 200 EMA and looking range bound at this stage after a failure to breach 27,600. And global PMI data is the highlight for today. We did have the BOJ interest rate decision, which showed no change, but the statements created quite a stir in yen crosses. A couple of things to have a look at from a chart point of view, the quarter eye right today. And let's start with the Ruby Pound Yen. We're looking at the 15 minute chart here. You can see there, this is the impact of that uh, statement that came out from the BOJ subsequent to the interest rate decision. You can see there we have had a pretty sharp move upwards in the last 45 minutes or so. Still looks to breach that 181.88 and um, maybe a short term move up around about 50 pips to 182.48. Uh, level, although it could make it throw back up to that R1 pivot at 182.65. So regaining a lot of the losses we saw uh, during the course of yesterday, subsequent to the BOE pause in interest rates. Want to keep an eye on for sure. On the ASX, uh, we're relooking at LNK, uh, Link Administration Holdings. You can see again, they're having another test of this key level at around about 143. We see this having plenty of upside in the long term, uh, though maybe a little bit of a slow mover, but certainly up to 160 looks very much on the cards. One to keep on your radar, not only today, but perhaps into next week as well.